Thank you, everyone. Uh, this is a really great week. I'm uh, looking forward to the conversation because today uh, we'll talk about why privacy matters and why this is something that is inherently important, not just for the Bitcoin network, but for a lot of different uh, things in, in what we work on. Uh, and I'm an economist, so let, let's start with, with fundamentals. Uh, the, the human acts, right? We have problems, we need to solve them. We have limited resources in order to get our problems solved. Uh, and, well, we need to deal with those limited resources in a way that we solve our problems efficiently and that we get a lot of things done. Uh, and this means that we, well, first of all, have to know what are our problems. And, and this is the uneasiness that we currently feel. Uh, the, we're hungry, well, we need shelter and we want to have fun, you know, all of these things that we want to get solved. Uh, so these are the uneasiness that, that we feel. Uh, and, and this is a subjective value judgment. You know, we need to find out uh, how much we value these different things. What is the most important thing to solve right now? Are you more hungry or more thirsty? And, and then once that is established, the question of what resources you have available comes next. Because even though you might have really sophisticated problems, you might not have the capital, the tools to actually solve them. And, and uh, maybe you need to first build some production tools in order to get there. You know, if you want to cut down a tree, you need an axe. Uh, and so first you have to build the axe, and that's a whole different process in and of itself. And so all of this is extremely complicated, all of this is very uh, sophisticated, and ultimately the individual is the most uh, skilled and able uh, to deal with this uncertainty. Because only the individual truly experiences this uneasiness of what are your problems, and only the individual has the local knowledge uh, to find out what are the resources available, and then to apply them to those specific problems. Right, so in, uh, in uh, the technologies and systems that we are building, the individual has to be the, the fundamental starting point. And these should be tools to help him remove his uneasiness as sophisticatedly as, and efficiently as possible. And, and this is where the cypherpunk strategy comes in. This is where cypherpunks write code. Because this is why we can have a, a tremendous impact with providing individuals with better tools to defend their property and to use it in a way as they wish uh, is, is key. Uh, and here privacy comes exactly into that picture, right? because privacy is the ability to selectively reveal yourself to the world, and right? to, to choose how to in engage with other people and, and what to say. And, and this choice is, again, part of the, the problems, the numerous problems that we need to solve and the infinite complexity and the strategies of how we get there. There's a lot of choice involved here, and there's infinite amount of choices, and privacy is to be conscious about those choices, and, and to not say something that you don't want to say. And this is the selective revelation. And it's not just about speech, it's about action as well, action as well and physical movement, right? because you, you, this conveys information as well. Uh, and here the ability for the individual to, to be in control of choosing what to say and when is crucial. Uh, and this is especially so because, well, there are other people in this world, and even though most of them are incredibly useful, and they can help you in a market economy to solve those very complex problems that you have, well, they are also very powerful individuals that can harm you uh, and block you in your way to, uh, to manifest the solutions to your problems. Uh, and here, the, the way to defend against an adversary uh, an easy way to defend it is just to not be noticed by him. And uh, to, to, when someone doesn't know that, that you exist, that you're walking uh, you know, on the parallel street or something, he get, doesn't even have the idea of, of starting to rob you, for example. Um, so to, to be not uh, visible uh, but to an adversary is by far the cheapest defense. Uh, and then even though when, when you might be visible, right, to still have the power to choose how to be visible. For example, to choose not to reveal your entire wealth all of a sudden and, and at once, or to, even to be forced to reveal this. Uh, this starts to increase and increase the risk levels of individuals, because more and more attackers can come and harass you and steal from you. Right? So the, 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 the privacy aspect is to reduce the risk of an adversary uh, taking your property. Uh, and, and, and property is a concept to remove the uneasiness of the future. Right? So, we, because we, when we have capital, we know that in the future we can buy whatever we want. Right? We have the tools to get the shit done that we need to get done. Uh, and if that principle is violated, 
uncertainty comes rushing back uh, to the individual. Because all of a sudden you're naked on an island and you're starving. Right? Uh, and that's not good. Um, so the, the ability to protect your property and the ability to selectively reveal yourself are, are fundamental to the, to the human need for the removal of uneasiness and uncertainty. And this is what privacy tech is all about. This is a, a security tool. We, we need to make sure that our users can sleep at night, right? that they don't need to worry about starving tomorrow, that they have capital enough to support themselves and their family and their friends. And, and open source privacy preserving technologies are exactly the, a, a scalable solution to this fundamental human problem. I mean, Bitcoin itself is already genius in what it does. Uh, and the, to improve the privacy will just make it even more impactful. Right? This is all about protecting individuals. That's what Bitcoin is fundamentally all about. And privacy is an incredibly key uh, well, tool towards our goal. Because privacy makes protection a lot cheaper. Right? And then we remove even more uneasiness. And we can focus on the actual way more sophisticated and deeper problems that need to be taken care of. Right? And there is still a lot of work to be done. Uh, but slowly, I think we're getting there. So this is why our <coughs> privacy really matters. Uh, and this is ultimately the, the key to fungibility in money. Right? We, we want to have a money that removes uneasiness and uncertainty to the largest degree possible. Right? And if you have to worry that whenever you get paid, that there is going to be trouble for you in the future uh, because of the transaction history of that payment, and this increases uncertainty to a large extent. Fungibility, the aspect that, that, that each token in and of itself ha does not have transaction history, they are, they are not unique, they are indistinguishable, right? which Bitcoin does not have, UTXOs are unfortunately not yet fungible, but this decreases the, the actual like, strategic usefulness and value of the money. So to further increase the value of Bitcoin, we need to further increase its privacy because that further increases its security and its, its usefulness and the removal of uneasiness that it can provide to its users, which is what all of this is ultimately about.